Well, hello everybody and welcome once again to Lightning TV, brought to you, of course, in association with Oak Hill Voice and Data. Now, on Saturday night, it was a turn of Basingstoke Bison to visit the arena. They've had a great start to the season here in the NIA Hill National. Let's go and check out the action. Face off to the right-hand side of the Lightning goal. Won by Bison. Wigwelly sits over on the right-hand side on the blue line for Bison, all the way down to Metham. Ben Russell. And the brother Sam still out with that injury, of course. Lower body injury. That's a goal. It's as Joe as a goal. And it's Rio Grinnell Park down low from the left hand side. Unsighted Alex Metham with 13 14 to go in the first. Lightning take the lead. Well worked goal. It was coming. Ben Russell just draws it down nicely. Mackenzie was, I think, gives it to Grinnell Park. And it's 1 0 Lightning. Left hand side again. Just getting a little bit untidy over there. Christie. Backhand to Martelli. Norris. Nice little backhand. Sets off Talbot. That's a brilliant pass. Talbot trying to go around his man. Goes, goes sideways. That is a brilliant goal from Milton Keats Lightning. You're not going to see much better than that. 4 0 8. Completely opened up the Basie Stoke defence. Absolutely nothing they could do about that. Callum Field straight down the middle. Brilliant pass straight across. Field goes one side, goes the other. Doubles the lead. All in black, Milton Keynes lightning two. Basie Stoke Bison nil. 4 0 8 to go in the first last knockings of this first period the welly just waits on the line on the right hand side picks up the rebound 40 seconds to go James had lost his stick look belly again Wallace gets a stick in Milton drops it down low it's found out front good clearance that from lining Lee Jameson that is testimonial before the start of the season of course Lee Jameson With Welly again, tries to take on three players, just spins away, manages to clear the zone. Balaz, Wallace almost got something on it. Ten seconds remaining in the first period. Blocker saved that time round from Headley, had to do something. Another good save just in front from uh, Norcliffe that time round. Lightning clear again, the buzzer will go for the end of the first period. And at the end of the first 20 minutes, Lightning will go in short-handed, a penalty, high-stick penalty on Ben Russell. But on the scoreboard, it's the All In Black, Milton Keynes, Lightning 2, Basingstoke Bison 0. Alex Metton in net for Basingstoke Bison, Jordan Headley in net for Lightning. As we get ready to start this second period, puck is dropped by referee Bicknell and straight away is fired down to Metton. Bison on the power play, of course. Stewart straight in, and the whistle will go, so we'll call them back. Stewart wins it this time round. Looking to clear their zone now, Lightning. Now, Stewart gives it back to Wallace. It's a two on one situation here. Liam Stewart scores! Stewart Henry goal! 14 52. It's Liam Stewart, Tim Wallace combining. Milton Keynes, Lightning three. Basingstoke Bison nil, just as Lightning brought the fourth player back onto the ice. Good clearance in the first instance. Stewart picks it up, gives it to Wallace. Two on one straight away. Liam Stewart's not going to miss from there. Beats Metham hands down. Great play once again. Talbot got support if he needs it. Didn't need him in the end. A couple of afters going in there. Wilson. Got a shot in on Headley and just covers up this time round. 9.06 or 9.05 remaining remains. 3-0. Oh, we've got a bit of afters coming down on the bench here. Just past the, uh, the Bison bench. Uh, let's know what was going on there. Uh, 
the words being said. I think, uh, I think it was Talbot and Norris in there. And now they... They're going to start throwing down. Talbot's gone. They haven't taken their gloves off. It's Talbot and Landsberg's. Chamberlain's dropped the gloves. Let's see who he's gone with there. Liam Morris, Chamberlain's gone with. Gloves off, helmet off. Morris is down there as well. Chamberlain throwing some bombs around the helmet of Morris. Morris is giving it as good as he can. No, Chamberlain keeps throwing. And Morris eventually goes down. Rather yeah, appreciating that. That's going to make for a tasty second half of this game. This will be interesting. So Bobby Chamberlain goes to the box, obviously. Morris goes. Talbot's going to go and take a seat. <laughs> Landsberg's is going to take a seat. I don't know what Eddie Landsberg was doing in there. Griffin, 6.27 to go, shot inside! Liam Stewart arriving late! Even-handed goal makes it four with 6.24 to go! Brilliant goal from Lightning, well worked once again, gave Metham no chance at all, James Griffin just circles round Drops it down the front, Liam Stewart arriving in, absolutely unmarked, no one knew he was there. He's not going to score many easier goals than that. Right hand side, Bison, just gets away from Ryan Sutton on that occasion. Liney once again looking to clear, Green, just pulls his man down, Ross Green, went for his man. Well, I don't know what that was all about and I don't know what Ross Green has been eating this season. He's angry. Game weekend number four. Down the boards. Only looking to clear again. Belaz. Hassled and harried by Barnes Garner. Standout season last season for Holden Barnes Garner in the Lightning shirt. Most improved player. Coaches player. Doughty drops it in the centre. Great shot, great goal. Norcliffe opens the account for Basingstoke. And travelling Bison fans appreciate that. It's a power play goal, of course. Sixth power play. And the first time they've scored, that'll bring. Lightning, of course, back to full strength with 3.35 remaining in the second. Norris, 1.10 to go. That went in deep and I've got a feeling that might have stung Sam Talbot a little bit. Nice pain on the pass there from Norris. Stewart now with a shot. He goes down low. 1.05 to go. It's a power play goal. 59.2 seconds remaining in the second. It's Lightning 5, Basingstoke 1. Another well worked goal on the power play that time round. Norris just fans on the shot, gives it to Liam Stewart, finds a little bit of a gap and straight through once again. Alex Metzum is beaten down low. Here come Lightning once more. Six seconds remaining. Got to get something to happening here. This goes behind the goal. The buzzer will go at the end of the second. And this confirmation that a goal from Liam Stewart. This is hat trick goal. And Alex Metham is offering to drop the butt gloves with Alden Barnes Garner. Alex Metzen has done this before here in Milton Keynes with Jordan Lorde. Well, 
But one thing's for sure, this is going to make for a fairly interesting third period. I think they're all going to get off the ice now. Uh, maybe they're not. Bobby Chamberlain having a couple of words. The official was just saying, go back to your locker rooms. I mean, it is early to be sorting out the secret Santas and everything else at this point of the year. Lee Jameson taking on his alternate captain duty. He's just herding everybody. It's a bit like herding cats, though, trying to get everybody back to the locker room. We will start the third period in four on four hockey. So we're ready to go. Liam Stewart down for Lightning and Livwelly, who's had an awful lot of minutes tonight for Bison. Comes on to the stick of Ben Russell. Initial shot was blocked. Barnes Garner couldn't get anything on it. Max Stewart again, opportunity now, couldn't quite get it across, but uh, desperate defending from Bison, there's a slashing call coming, and uh, Max Stewart this time goes, and it's Jay King who starts unloading on Max Stewart. With the handbags, and Stewart just tries to swing over the official's shoulder. And, uh, Jay King, of course, will go to the bench, as will Max Stewart. In fact, Jay King's leaving the game. So, four on four, lining in possession. Stewart behind the, own goal, behind the goal. Liam Stewart, three goals to the good already this evening. Wallace goes down under the challenge. A bit of rough stuff going in there. Once again, that's Livwelly. He's had a good game. Really going after Tim Wallace. Now he pulls Tim Wallace down. And now Luke Welly's going after Tim Wallace. And if Tim gets up, this could be painful. I'd let them go. I'd really let them go. I think Gail Luke Welly would end up getting taught a lesson from Tim Wallace. I really do. So, confirmation, uh, 91, Aidan Doughty is two minutes for holding. And uh, number nine, Lebwelli. That's a goal! Tim Wallace! Well, that didn't work quite the way the goal. Lebwelli really wanted it to. Because less than a minute into his penalty, Tim Wallace, with the power play goal, makes it 6-1. Beast Betham down low to his right hand side. Pushed around the boards again. Barnes Garner tries to get it back. Norcliffe picks his pocket. Another shot in. And that's a goal. And then he got something on it, but it wasn't enough. It was Marcel Bellaz who gets a second goal for. Basingstoke Bison, probably come a little bit too late from the Hampshire side, but it was a good shot. Barnes going it was, it was a soft pass. And Bellas with the shot and Hendy got plenty on it, couldn't quite stop it going goal goalwards though. Grinnell Park, tidy performance by them tonight. You can't take anything away from his bikes, Bison side. Had the difficulties last season. They've not given up tonight. And you can see why they're going to trouble so many teams in this league this season. Keep up that energy. Nice little pass out. Green. 15 seconds to go. Green tries to get the shot away. Yes, he's not going to take that on. Just dumps it down. Just under five seconds to go. And as the buzzer goes... Lightning's maximum points haul in the league so far this season continues. Played six, won six. At the end of the game, it's the All in Black, Milton Keynes, Lightning six, Basingstoke Bison two.
Well, Lightning, of course, retain their 100% record through the, throughout the league this season so far with a 6-2 win. And after the game, I caught up with Rio Grinnell Park and assistant coach Joe Wilson. Um, Joe, you found yourself up against a, a, a tough Basingstoke side tonight. They've had a great start to the season, played with great energy, but Lightning, at times, you just blew them away tonight. Yeah, I mean, we spoke before the game and said how they're coming in here full of momentum and that first 10 minutes was going to be crucial. We had to kill their momentum. And I think the guys responded well to that. They did that exceptionally well and going 2 up in that first 10 was a perfect start. You seem to be switching the lines around a little bit. I know you didn't have a lot of choice. There was a little bit of penalty trouble later on in the game. Maybe people were getting tired and so on and so forth. What, what was you thinking around that? Are you trying to save a little bit of legs for Telford tomorrow? It's just really trying to get guys on the ice. We have guys that sometimes miss shifts. We are carrying an odd number, so it's hard to get the lines going. So it's just about getting guys eyes, getting guys different experiences and resting some guys up. Yeah, when the game, especially when the game's a little bit out of reach for the opposition, it's nice to try different things out. Some brilliantly taken goals tonight. I mean, the guys just they were absolutely sublime in front of net. I mean, was it, was it not for Alex Metham in the Basingstoke goal? That could have been a lot more, right? Yeah, Metham's a really good goalie. On the flip side, so is Lorde. They've got two really good goalies there and he made some unreal saves. And I think we were clinical. And that's the biggest thing we said all week was we have to be clinical against this team. Going to single out a couple of them. Um, Liam Stewart, he's a, he's a points machine right now. Yeah, he's on fire right now, but I think everyone is. And he's playing on a good line and he's, he's getting a lot of support, but he's, he's doing a good job out there, definitely. Callum Field as well had a good game tonight. You know, he got seen sort of absolute brilliance when he's on the ice. I mean, he's a he's a young lad, but he's he's tall. But he doesn't get knocked off the puck very easily, does he? No, he's strong. He's got a bright future in it. He's, he's last few weeks, him and Zane have been really working hard, and you can see that on the ice now. The product they're putting out is uh, amazing. So this is game weekend four of the league now. I mean, obviously there's a bit you've, the momentum's behind Lightning. What do you say to the guys before you take on Telford tomorrow? And then obviously you've got Bristol coming here next, next weekend. That's not going to be an easy game either. I don't think any game in this league is easy um, across the border, really. Every team's strong. Every team's going to get stronger as the season goes on. But we always just say, let's take each game as it comes. It's two points and we keep rolling. It's two points and we keep rolling. Brilliant. Well, listen, Joe, good luck on the road tomorrow in Telford. Thanks very much for coming on and chat to us. Thank you. I was just talking with Joe there and just talking about just how clinical Lightning were at times tonight. That was a clinical performance. Yeah, I 100% agree. Like, I know we were on the penalty kill for a lot of the game, but you know what? Everyone's stuck in, everyone grinded together from the back, from heads all the way up, and everyone just stuck together. Like, we all have that winning mentality, we all want to compete, and I think tonight really showed it when we were down quite a bit and we just took our chances when we took them. So, yeah. Talking about taking your chances, you the first goal that you scored, obviously, to, to, to set Lightning off. Absolutely sublime movement, wasn't it? Yeah, we've worked on that play a few times in training, so it was nice to action for it to come off how we've been practicing, and it was nice to get the first goal and first one of the year. So, yeah, a bit of pressure off my shoulders, so it was, but it was a collective effort to get that goal. So, yeah. I know Tim and uh, Joe are switching the lines around because, as Joe said, you've got an odd number, so you're just making sure guys are getting ice time and everything else. But that little line that you've got going yourself, Malik, you've got Hold and Holds in there as well. Yeah. That's really clicking because you you know you guys know each other of old, don't you? Really good to see you guys back together again. Yeah, well, like you said, like we said, we've been practicing together for our training. Obviously, I've played with Holds for a few seasons as well, so we kind of know our, both both our strengths and weaknesses. So we kind of play off each other, and it's nice. Obviously, we can rely on each other to work hard because we both know we like getting in the kind of dirty areas and then adding Zane into that equation and Callum when we played that we're all kind of players that like to grind and get the get the puck and get our chances when we can get them. Just one last word obviously you spent a couple of seasons away from uh, from Lightning of course down with uh, Raiders how good does it feel to be back in a, a Lightning uniform in this rink in front of these fans? Yeah it's nice to be back obviously I had my reasons for leaving obviously personal stuff but coming back it's been amazing the crowd's as always, always electrifying, always behind us. So credits to them. And yeah, it's a lovely ring to play, pristine ring to play in, lovely. And yeah, the atmosphere is always electrifying. Brilliant. Well, listen, thanks for his chance to us, Rio. Good luck on the road in Telford tomorrow. See Thank you soon. You. Thank you, Dicko. Well, as normal, thanks very much to the guys for coming up to chat to us after the game. Don't forget, next weekend, it's a Sunday home game. 5.30 face-off here at the Milton Keynes Arena. 
Bristol Bulldogs are in town. For more information, of course, keep your eye out on the Lightning social media and on the website to go and get your tickets. Until then, have yourselves a great week. We'll see you again soon.